So I have this date book and it's now out of date. So I decided to cut it up to take out all the pretty pieces of art that were strewn about to do some paper mache. I had the pieces in mind to cover up a shoebox which is visible on one of our bookshelves and that came out nice but it had so many cool references and little notes in the book and other scraps of books that had fallen apart and I thought well we'll put them together for a little quick reference guide. As you can see I'm using recycled paper here I really love the aesthetic but it's also a great way to do crafts without any waste. Here we're making a faux leather cover with more of that brown paper that's been glued to some cardboard from a box and then eventually sealed over with a little bit more white glue to give it some sheen. Rora decided to help me with this and she really enjoyed the project. It's a fun craft for kids. I added in a few notes where there was extra pages in the book and I left myself a little bit of space to put some things in at a later date. Last, it just needed an embellishment for the cover and after some consideration, I thought the Wheel of the Year makes the absolute most sense because that's what most of the reference pages are about. Although not strictly recycled, this paper that I'm using, as you can see, is quite old. A hand-me-down from someone whose kids left school many many years ago and had all these fine papers for it and I think put together the brown paper and the extremely old paper uh, gives it a nice rustic feel which is what I was going for in this book this little embellishment at the end as well as the extra blank pages was a good excuse for me to use my fountain pen which I'm very fond of doing and again, I find it all comes together like a very nice, handmade, magical object. Transfiguring garbage into a handmade keepsake. Now that's magic. <laughs>